Falk. Roll call. Gary Shue. Sean Harley. Randy Sneed. Eric Burton. Lisa Mullaney. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Minutes from 621-23. Minutes. Second. I have a motion and a second to approve the minutes from 621-23. Any further comments? Mm -hmm. None all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? I'm going to kind of just mix this up just a little. Ma'am, yes. I don't know who you are, but mm -hmm. what, what can we do to help you? Uh, who I'm, are you? I'm Kim Parker, and I live on Widener Street. I'm just mostly here to see if I can find out who I need to discuss with, because one of my roads is one of them that they have just finished up. And there's um, like some of the stuff is not back the way that it was, and so it's causing huge ruts. And that man in the center, right there. <laughs> okay, because <laughs> I came to, the we I came to talk to, and I just wanted to. I know that they're happening all over the town, so I just yeah. did. I just wanted to make them aware what's, what's that our road is having. What's that? What's your address? Four six Widener. Four six Widener. Good. It should have said that. It's Jimmy Lindstrom. He's our superintendent. Yeah, I mostly just wanted to make it aware to somebody's attention because we have, like, especially where our mailboxes are, um, was paved. I mean, we didn't move our mailboxes, so, and they just put dirt back over it, but the dirt um, just, as soon as the mail person came, it just came up, and so there's huge ruts. And my one of my driveways is gravel also with the blacktop. And I mean, I have a dip where it used to be flush with the road, and now there's just, you just like drop down into it. And I just didn't know who to talk to to see if we can get those things back to the way they was. <laughs> I'll check it out tomorrow. Okay. They're still in town, so I'm sure they'll get down there and fix it. Okay. Jamie, would that be there's on another the, one that on part the of the contracting crew to make sure they put stuff back the way it's supposed yeah. to be? Yeah. yeah. Cause I took a few pictures just like a down my road, like, and other people's, if they don't care that I don't care either, but like another one has the same thing or it just drops off into his gravel um, yeah. where they didn't just follow through with, okay. and there's at least two or three mailboxes and there's a big rut across the street in my area and I have to mow that and I really mm -hmm. don't want to mow into tire size ruts. So I mostly just wanted to make somebody aware to come Good. check it out and see well, what we Well, I know we got we all do. that rain the other day and yeah. they washed some of that out, so we'll have to get back down there. But yeah, I'll check it out tomorrow. Okay. Thank you. That was all I had. I just didn't know how to talk to you. <laughs> thank you. Solution solved. Yes, thank you. <laughs> thank you for coming. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, back to old business. Workshop for residential, residential inspection. So we put this one on hold, so I was just going to ask you, do you want to do that um, before the next meeting, or when do you want, uh, remember Derek needs to be there, so um, I just wanted to know when when you wanted a workshop. We're going to have a workshop before our next meeting for, for budget, possibly, or do we do those on different nights? I can't remember. The 18th, we were going to do it on Tuesday the 18th. That was another necessary. thing. Did everybody get my email about um, Chief Red not being able to be here for that date? So if somebody's want, taking a vacation. Do you want? Do you want? Um, well, I'm, taking, I'm not taking one all year. No, I know. <laughs> can we, can we, and when I made this, I didn't know that have responsibilities. Swap it with one of the other department heads, or is it totally not it fit anymore? It, well, we were going to try to do it all in one night, but no, on the right. 18th. Yeah. So um, we'd have to have his either before he left, because I know Randy's gone the week after. Can we go? I, I messed up. Um, <laughs> so we have to move the budget meetings? I, I was looking at Where are you going camping at this time? Sorry, Rock Illinois. I don't think it's fair to hold a budget meeting without the department head there anyway. Yeah, so. could, could, could we do no, it? Could we do it on the twenty fifth? Or is that too far away for everybody? Twenty fifth of what? July. I'm good. I think I'm good on then too. I'm back then. I'm going the eighteenth through the twenty first. I'm going on next week. Okay. 
Right now, my 25th of so Tuesday. 25th works with me. All right, let's do. 25th. Is that Tuesday the 25th? Or? Yeah, Rod, okay. 25th works for you. That's fine by me. I'm back. Okay. Can we start it at like five? What? How early can you be here, Sean? Because I know Erica doesn't want to get up super early, but I mean, I, like we, six. I can be here before six. Okay. You want to get it done in a timely manner? Yeah. I mean, I, I can try to force it by 5.30. 5.30? Well, let's do it at 6. 6? That, that give you plenty of time? Yeah, but I also want to go home and eat before I have to go to work. All right, how about 5.30? Okay. <laughs> yeah, like 5 I'll have to push it, and hopefully we won't be busy with fungicide then. But, yeah. Okay. So it's the 25th. If we had to hold it till 5.45, we'd still be fine. But I'll put it to 5.30. Okay. That's okay. You're getting up early that day. You are? I will be. So I can make sure I'm here on time. Oh, I'm sorry. No, I'm, that's fine. I, I'm flexible. 5.30 p.m. Do I need to get yeah, there? Yeah, which means I'll probably be leaving the house at like 3.30, 4 o'clock oh. a.m. Oh. Do I need long-range Nerf guns? Well, yes. <laughs> long -range Nerf guns. By, by that time, we should yeah, have have the budget right. papers and I will send them out to you first right so you can look them over sure. that, helps. that helps that helps a lot <laughs> so Randy has homework yes uh, why we're on table stuff maybe it's not the right time but it's, gonna, it's my time I guess on the back our table discussions they don't have that okay, they only have, okay no, they so don't have that so we have we have uh, chickens at the top of the list. I think I'm pronouncing them right. The people that live on South Walnut or McMillan East Walnut, is East is Walnut, East Walnut is McMillan. They have a rooster. Mm -hmm. So I heard him this morning, then I rode around the alley and that would be Officer yeah. Chief Red. Chief Red. Chief Red. <laughs> Chief. What's the red dress that has the rooster? Anybody know it? Uh, not off the top of my head. Is it, it east? Is the it yellow just east of the tracks? It's no, it's just, just back west house. of the tracks. The uh, yellow house would be the second house back from the railroad tracks. Yeah, because Junior Fires was on the corner where the street goes down and makes an alley. So it's the next house. Um, is that Washington Street? No, the, 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 yeah. their house faces Walnut. Is it Washington? It's almost right across oh, the yeah. Walnut. Yeah, 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 that's Washington Street. Yeah, I don't think we have any addresses on that street, but right. that's, that's the street. Because <laughs> if you go if you go around behind their house, you can see their chicken pen. Okay. Yeah, you got to go to the alley. Yeah. And, and I was out fairly, well, you saw, I was out fairly early this morning on my bicycle, and I heard a rooster. So I go down there, and I hear a rooster again. Chickens are still not allowed. Roosters are definitely not well, allowed. Roosters, right. the, the, the ordinance that we were even looking at discounted roosters. So, But we were trying to give them, I think we were still in discussions yeah. about the chickens, but the rooster is a no-no. Yeah. I'll take care of Friday. Thank you, sir. I'll have a barbecue lunch. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> You got they, barbecue? Chicken and dumplings. They've got some hens too, but I, they, I've heard the rooster stand sitting on the back porch, so I mean, I, I know it's there. Yeah. Well, he's pretty. He's pretty vocal. He's. he's <laughs> yeah, I know he is. All right. Any other old business? Anybody got? You got anything? Anybody else got anything? Do, do we want the uh, workshop for the residential? You never actually addressed oh, it. Uh, since we aren't doing, well, you won't even be here for the next. Yeah. All right, we'll just table it. <laughs> yeah, table the workshop. I'm going to cut their pay. They need it. This is coming from a lady that got paid a full week's pay to go and set Fort Wayne uh -huh. and just. And listen to the State Board of Accounts tell me what I've done wrong for the is last. Is that why I had to talk to them Tuesday? State, no. Oh. But, I mean, I go for training. Well, I don't just go too wrong. You're not wearing bracelets. Huh? <laughs> that's not too wrong. You're not wearing no, bracelets. No, not yet. No. <laughs> I have a bracelet enough. I have uh, one thing for old business, I guess, okay. since it kind of came up at the last meeting. And uh, most of you already know it, but just to, but the, the police commission met last week and appointed Chief Rudd to the position of chief of police 
because of Corey's letter. Mm -hmm. So the police commission has fulfilled their side of everything and all the X's and O's are dotted and crossed. And, uh, it's pretty much a moot point at this point, but I did want to let the council know that we did hold our meeting. It was unanimous. Rhonda has minutes for you from both the exec, the exec and the other, not minutes, not minutes. Exec, but just who was there. Yeah. Which we were all there. It was a full commission meeting, so um, went well. Corey and Rodney both attended. Everybody asked questions, and you know, it, it was it went really well. Um, we're going to implement some programs to help educate some of our younger officers to some more leadership positions, and leadership schooling, and that kind of stuff. To looking to the future because we know we have two senior officers that are going to be retiring in the next five years, so. Mm -hmm. um, we, we would like to promote within if we can later on. Um, so that's kind of our goal with the new programs that we're going to start and Rodney's looking into that. So. Anything you want to add to that? I just that we'll have two officers leave within the next 12 months. So mm -hmm. something to think about that's going to happen. Corey will retire and Gary Spratt's going to be going to officer school in the military. So unfortunately we'll be right back to so. trying to fill slots which we all know how easy that is. So I'll be coming to you wanting to know if we're going to keep our officer count the same as we are, which I hope that we would. I think it works well, but we'll have them discussions when they happen. Okay. You're looking at like probably May, May, June, sometime around next year. Both of them will be gone. Mm -hmm. If it's like the last couple we've done hiring new, just new officers, that's a fairly lengthy process. We may want, once we have that in writing that they're going to do those things, we may want to start that process before they actually leave. Mm -hmm. As soon um, as possible, maybe? Yeah, right. But we got to be through too. I mean, we can't just go out and hire people. We right. got to have that kind right. of layo right there because of. Yeah. Um, well, I'd say probably we get within a couple months of yeah. knowing. I mean, by that time, it'll we're take at least probably minute. two months to go through that whole process. So I agree. Get down to a group of people to just, because we always narrow it down to let no more than five. At one time has been all we've ever brought in for it, actual interviews with the commission. We try to weed the ones out with the chief at prior meetings just with us and go through that process. But there's there's a lot involved in hiring an officer you guys really don't realize. It's a lot of background checks, a lot of you know, like a schedule and lighting type of tests. I mean just everything. There's a lot of stuff you gotta do. So put that bug in your everybody's ear. Well, Chief Rudd, uh, congratulations. Thank, Thank you for taking over and, and stepping up. Yeah. We appreciate having you back as Chief again. So, uh, hope everything works out. We've got your number, so we know how to get a hold of you. Oh, yes. <laughs> it works too. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. New business. Resolution 2023 04, the power tracker. Um, it's, in your packet. it's in the packet. I'm sure everyone read that. Mm -hmm. Why don't you go enough? Oh, there it is. I see it. Okay, never mind. Uh, I like them in red and parentheses better. Yeah. I know. Point. 0.12017 per kilowatt hour per month. So that's Sent a quarter. really tiny part of a penny. Sent a quarter. Yeah. Well, Couldn't that's... Keep it under a penny, huh? That's what the tractor's going to. That's not what it's going up. I think it's going up four tenths of a cent. Yeah. Okay. I'll make a motion to approve resolution 2023-04 power tracker. And I'll second that. We do have a motion and a second to accept resolution 2023-04, the power tracker. Any further comments? If not all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Other new business. Chuck, you have anything? No? You're just here to observe? 
we're working on a couple of houses right now. Don't want to bring up the addresses or anything, but uh, I'd like to talk with you about them privately if you want to. But uh, a couple that are in bad shape. I have to bring up one, and I almost hate doing this in Soul Guy, but the uh, ordinance is what it is. Right down here on West Street, right across South Street, between South and Broadway, on the right hand side, it's a trailer coming yes. by. That belongs to Richard Humes, I believe. And Rob? he is he's evicting him. And he is evicting him. Yeah. I actually talked to Mark Van Will this weekend about that property, and apparently there's some zoning stuff going on with that trailer in the works. So maybe that'll rectify the entire situation down there, but I agree. Yeah. It needs attention. That's he won't be able to fix the trailer, so it's got to go. Okay. Yeah, trailers can't be fixed, can no, they? By, by state statute law, you, you can't fix them. The only way that they can be they fixed go back to the factory. Back to the factory and fix there. Right. That's the only way. So the, the Spanish lady that lives over on um, Plum Street? On a, you talk about the trailer on yeah the, yeah um your street yeah that was the old stevens property right. right. genetic right. carter's old trailer it's right it's that's been B1. unoccupied yeah. so this is just a rumor and that's all i can say it is i've been told that there are people living in that whole barn or something hmm. i'm not seeing anybody yeah, in and out of there. there well i haven't either would you kind of check it out just to see i'm oh, sure I go to work. Right? I, and I and go again, it was just a story from someone, so I have no proof. I, I truthfully haven't seen any kind of traffic in and out of there, but I'm not saying there isn't. But yeah. I, any update on the compound? Yes. Compound. <laughs> over yeah, behind her place. Uh, yeah, over there. The traders, right? Yeah, been down to see them. Mm -hmm. um, the one camper, the new one, doesn't seem to be like anything going on there. It's plugged in, but a lot of times people keep the right. campers plugged in. So the new one, it goes out and does a lot of stuff. The older, big one, I talked to the owner, who's the son of the property owner there. Told them we can't have two residences on the property, and he said, We don't live here, we go out sometimes at night and watch TV in the trailer. And I'm just telling you what he said we have to prove that they're living there, right. which is going to be the hard part. Yeah, but he was supposed to be taking it this past week, um, over the fourth, he was going to pull it out and take it to some campground. She's a traveling nurse, so they are only here visiting. Isn't that what you told me? Yes. Mm -hmm. So she's a traveling nurse, and they're only here visiting their father, and because they're, um, it's B.J. Smith, and um, his wife died a few months ago. He does our IT for us, and then um, his. Uh, father-in-law just passed or mother-in-law one of the two and so they're here in town for those but those campers have been there for months yeah months well, and months and months hooked up she just she passed about six months ago i think and then um, the other one but they told chuck that they were going to move them because she got an assignment to go on a traveling nursing somewhere so, so we'll just have to well see. once i can get them that road you know, i'll see <laughs> yeah. Well, and, and I'm ch checking it out too. So. Mm -hmm. While we're on this subject, Brian McGowan out there, he has a uh, larger RV. We've got the slide out, out, they've got it plugged in. I don't know if anybody's living there or not, but I'd really appreciate if you'd kind of check on that one also. She's been told they can't live there in that parking lot. Yeah, I think what you get down to is like living versus yeah, you know, in between jobs. Watching TV or yeah, exactly. Like, I don't, you know. Well, it just seems like somebody's there a lot. I know at one time that place looked pretty bad, but I think he's he has made some great steps in the right direction. But, but I just 
you, you see the everything out, and it looks like somebody's actually living there. You think it? I know he takes those food huts or right. the different festivals and that. Do you think it's somebody that works for him that is I, I pulling that trailer I think between the festivals and just stay in there? Stay there. Part, similar to like they do here at the fair that week. Yeah, but yeah, they blueberry festival. from everywhere. Right. Yeah. That I could understand, but it. Yeah. I'm not saying, right, I'm just asking the question, you know, yeah. I suppose that's what it is. I don't well, yeah. know. They need to go to an RV park. Right. right. There's plenty of campgrounds in the Rocky Canyons. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. All right. Moving on. Claims. Okay, so you have in front of you uh, the claims. Yeah. They, uh, from June 20th of 2023 to July 3rd of 2023. And they total $1,023,000, or $23,000, sorry. $1,023,051.07. Shopping street? No, so, so um, two hundred, almost three hundred thousand of that. If you saw it, was the payback of the sequel bond. Um, oh, that's what that was. Okay, I see it. Yeah, I to the okay. BKO or something. Mm -hmm. yeah. And so um, that actually came back about thirty thousand higher um, than what they were scheduled to pay. So that. The quicker they pay it off, the more they're they're capped at twelve million. So once they pay that twelve million off, then we actually start seeing some dollars. Okay, so. Is that fixed interest rate, or is that interest rate changing with the with the Fed rates when they raise? There's no interest. No, it's just a it's, it's just, just a bond. bond. Yeah. It's a bond rather bond. than government bond. Yeah, yeah, and that's not some. I, just to be clear, that's not a bill that we're paying. No, that I'm is a an economic bond that they pay the taxes and then we pay almost 100% back to them. Sweet deal, what should we do that for me? <laughs> Start your business. <laughs> we need to approve claims from 6-2023 to 7-3-23 in the amount of $1,023,051. And then we have a motion and a second. To approve claims uh, from 6 2023 to 7 3 2023 for $1,023,051.07. Any further comments? If not, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Thanks. One more one more thing before you go. I know, I know. I just wanted to catch you real quick. So I am in the middle of a federal and a state audit just for the year of 2022. Yeah, I'm just bringing it up again. Next week at 11 a.m. on Tuesday, we have an entrance conference if anybody wants to attend. And if anybody wants to be at the exit conference, let me know and I will let you know when it's going to be. But they are staying three to four weeks. I am out of state. I, I will be here. here. I will yeah. be here for the entrance. I'm out of state next week, so. And I'm just letting you know if anybody wants to come join the fun. She called me and told me I had to be here. Now, no, I didn't. Is there going to be donuts? No, I did not. I asked if you were going to be in town. Is that, is that the, which insurance is that? The health insurance or the other? No, this is a State Board of Accounts. Yeah. Audit. This is Tuesday. an audit. Oh, yeah, the entrance. The health yeah. insurance. Entrance. Yeah. No. Entrance, not insurance. Entrance. 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 entrance, like there's an entrance, entrance and exit. Entrance I, and exit. I, swore you yeah. were saying insurance. <laughs> <laughs> I thought she sorry. I no, thought you're fine. I'm like, come in and go out. Yeah, sorry. Motion to adjourn. I need to start. Second. Third. Motion and second to adjourn. All in favor say aye. 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 aye.